Hey, what's going on, YouTube? I'm back with another video on Usher's new album entitled Heart to Love. Uh, guys, I gave the album a listen, okay? Now, the first half of the album, I was really, really feeling it. In the second half of the album, I was kind of like, yeah, okay? Um, I like a good, maybe like a good five or six songs off this album, uh, to be honest with you guys. I'm not a big fan of the album cover. I like I, I I do I do like it. It's it's a typical Usher album, but uh, it just had a different flavor. You know, he was doing a lot more rapping than singing. Uh, he did do singing, but he did a little bit more rapping than singing to me on this album. Even though I think that I, I do like that he did try something different. But I'm like he, I, Usher done became a rapper. He's damn near a rapper, you know. But. I was definitely, definitely feeling this, um, feeling it, you know, um, it's, 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 it's pretty good, it's pretty good, it's not his best, in my opinion, but it's pretty good, it, he does have a good five or six songs, so we do got some songs on here that I can rock to, um, so we finna get into it, now, Need You, um, is a, a, a song, uh, conversation with Pri Priyanka Chopra, okay, I don't know who that is, so, um, if anybody know who that is, y'all can please clarify. But, uh, I really, really like the feel of this song. It, it had a, a Michael Jackson feel to it that I was definitely, definitely feeling. Uh, he was hitting some Michael notes. Um, he was just saying this girl that he need. he was just telling this girl that he really needs her. Uh, and he really wants to stay with her and be with her. Uh, why she, why she wants to, uh, treat, you know, why is she leaving him? For somebody else. Uh, and another thing. Usher is very vulgar. And, and he's he's cursing a lot on this album. Okay. He's done turned to a bad boy. Okay. Usher don't normally curse as much as he does. You know. As he did on this album. I think that he did a lot more cursing. You know. Uh, which was a little different for me from Usher. I'm like okay. Um, but Need You had a very very. Michael Jackson feel to it, and I was definitely feeling it was nice. It was it was nice. It was very dreamy, and I like it. It, it had a different, nice little beat to it. The next song is "Missing You." Now, "Missing You" is just a typical Usher. It had a beat, starts off with a hard beat, then it gets into this very jazzy type feel, and then he does this I'm "Missing You." Okay, he's just kind of getting a little, you know, he 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 brings that feel of that real music into this song. Uh, uh, and then it, it, it just got a twist to it that I really, really like. I thought it was very different. Um, uh, I just really, really like Missing You. I think that's probably one of my favorites, apart from Need You. But Missing You is just, he's missing this girl so much. You know, now that he's not with her anymore. Um, and he needs her right now. You know, he's, 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 he's torn up. He's all torn up and broken down about this girl he's, he was with. And, uh, I, I, I just really, really like, it. I think that it's dope. Uh, it's just, it just had a nice twist to it. Uh, he sounded amazing. Uh, uh, and the beat was, was nice. And then and the, 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 the change with the jazz feel to it really, really, uh, had something that I, that had, had a nice go to it, a nice flow to it. The next song is No Limit. We're going to skip that. Everybody talks about that song like crazy. I like No Limit, even though I do not like Young Thug's uh, verse. So, yeah. <laughs> but uh, anyway, the next song. Now, Bump had a, a very, very 90s uh, 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 juke type of feel to it. Uh, I, I, I was definitely feeling it. Uh, it just had a very '90s, a '90s flavor to it. Uh, it kind of reminded me of a song Chris Brown. Kind of, kind of had a little "Take You Down" a little bit. It just kind of reminded me of Chris Brown. Uh, and then it also kind of had a little genuine and Cisco kind of feel to it that I was definitely feeling. But it, he was definitely, he definitely jacked on this. Kind of was doing a little rap. Uh, I was definitely feeling it. Now after that, it is "Let Me, Let Me." Was it's a pretty amazing song that I was definitely def another song I was feeling it had a very very nice beat to it. Um, uh, uh, even though he really really he really went brazy he went brazy on this song like I'm like Usher you rapping now dog so he I, I was listening to it I was very amazed by how he you know how he's trying to rap um, but I, I I you know even though it's not really his style. 
I still like that he tried something different with Let Me In. Uh, now, I was definitely, definitely feeling it. You know, he's just talking a little nasty on these songs, like on, the, on, on the rest of these songs. Kind of. I'm like, okay, Usher, wait a minute now. Wait a minute. But I was definitely feeling Let Me. I thought that was a cool song. Downtime. Now I gotta I like I like the beat, but I have to listen to the song some more to understand what he is talking about on the song. Um I def I like it, but it's a little unclear to me what he means. I I, I guess he's just saying I don't know. I have to keep listening to it even though I do like the beat. I thought that it was very, very short uh, and the beat sounded, you know, nice, but I liked it. I I, I liked it. Crash is my least favorite song on the album. It's just not the best. Uh, it was okay, but I, it just wasn't my favorite of the album. The next song is Make You a Believer, which is track eight of the album. Now, Make You a Believer, I was definitely feeling his beat for one. I was definitely feeling, you know, he was really, 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 really trying to rap. I'm like, Usher, check you out. Like, he was just saying, I'm going to make you a believer. Okay, uh, he was just, man, he was just talking a little, he was just talking some shit on this one. And I was definitely fucking feeling, I'm like, Usher, you better fucking jack. Okay, he really, really jumped off on this. He got off on the song. I was definitely feeling it. I'm like, okay, Usher, you did your thing, bro. I was definitely feeling it. The, the next was a little interlude called Mind of a Man. It was all right. But, yeah. Uh, the next song is 10. The, the next song, uh, track 10, is uh, Fuck With Me, FWM. You know, he, uh, he had his initials of it, the initials of it. But uh, this was a pretty okay song. Uh, it had a very nice pop, uh, pop feel to it with a nice little beat. Um, and he was just basically telling the girl, telling this girl to mess with him. And uh, I was definitely feeling. I thought it was cool. The next song is Rivals featuring Future. Now he was kind of going a little island on me with this one. Um, I I thought that this song was just okay. You know, but uh, I was I listened to it. I gave it a couple of listens, and I was like, okay, it, it's all right. Tell me, just was just it's a bedroom boom. Okay, that's just one of those songs. You 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 got your girl, y'all in a room, y'all together, y'all getting ready to get it on, y'all getting ready to pop, lock, and drop it, and just get jiggy with it, and then get it on and get it over with, basically. And I I liked it. And I thought it was cool. Uh, 13, Hard to Love. Uh, he's basically telling this girl he know he knows that he's hard to love, but be patient with him. Uh, that's the that's the that's the track that's the title of the album. Uh it's track 13. Uh, it was it was it was cool. Stronger, number 14. Okay. I I like the message of the song, but the beat and it, it just it just didn't have an usher feel to it. Uh I was I listened to it, I'm like, okay. It's all right, but then I uh, it was certain parts of the song I just really really didn't feel. And I was like okay, then uh, then the last song Champions, which is from off the movie from Hands of Stone, had a very very empowering message to it. Uh, it just talks about uh, people coming together and standing as a nation. Uh, I really really like it, but it just was not my favorite song of the album. It's the last song of the album. Um, and uh, it, it's it's he had parts of the song where I really couldn't understand what he was saying. Uh, you know, he had a little African feel to it, but uh, it just wasn't my best. It wasn't my best, and I, I I thought it was okay. But I do like the message in the last two songs. You know, uh, even in even in number fourteen, he's basically saying that he's stronger after all the stuff he's been through, you know, trying to get this girl to be with him. But he be he definitely sounded like he was he definitely sounded like he's hurt in some of these songs. Like he's very, very hurt about the girl that he was with. Um and how much he misses her. Uh how much he wants to be with her. And uh he's stronger even through all the pain he's saying he's stronger. But number fifteen champions, you know, it just my favorite, you know, this is that's just my honest opinion. But uh, the majority of this album is is pretty pretty cool. But I just think I needed a little bit more from Usher, even though I do like the the fact that he did try a little little something different, 
a little something different with this album as far as rapping and as far as uh, having a little bit more trap beats like uh, No Limit. Uh, which, which is, we all know, that's been playing on the radio nonstop. But I got to give Usher his props anyway because uh, Usher has been in the game for a while. He's a legend. He's an icon. He's done done things. He's opened up doors for people. You know, he's uh, his mentor was Michael Jackson, you know, and he uh, Usher has, is in it to win it. I believe this may be my very first review of Usher. I'm trying to see. Because it was some other stuff. It Maybe it was a couple of songs. I don't know. I don't know if I did Good Kiss or I don't know if I did that. But I was thinking around the time he made that song, he would have had a new album coming out. But he didn't. And I'm just glad that he do have something new out. But I have to keep listening to this album to really, really, really get into it a little bit more. But I, I, I would say that it's good. I give it a 8 out of 10. Okay, um, I like it, but it just, it just, it just has to grow on me a little bit more. But this is Forever Branded TV signing off. Uh, I hope you guys have a good rest of your night. Enjoy. Uh, deuces, 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 deuces. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Comments below. Do you like this Usher album? Do you think it's good? Do you think it's garbage? You know, just tell me what you think. Uh, just give me your thoughts. Uh, peace out.